a lot of re-roofs and we there's many reasons why we would change the roof right um, obviously rusty roof mm -hmm. get a change we've got a lot of low pitch roofs that leak and we change them too right mm -hmm. um, and tile roofs leaks, uh, we don't change the tile roof, we used to put a colour bond roof on. Um, this particular job is a little bit different uh, because it already had a colour bond roof on and it wasn't leaking. So, so what's the story? Uh, we had a client who wanted a, an, almost like an architectural piece done. So um, this has been coordinated with the owner and the architect. It's right. like a very specific detail and style that they wanted. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what we're doing today. So it's a bit different to a re-roof. Yep. It could take a lot more time. There's a lot more detail work involved. Um, there's a lot more meetings involved. Yeah, uh, with <laughs> architects obviously. So in, instead of just taking the old roof off uh, and putting a new roof on, we're actually taking a roof that's quite serviceable off. Yep. Uh, there's a couple of skylights we took off. Uh, so the, the client is just modernizing the look of the yes. house. He's doing a whole renovation inside. So he thought, I'll do the whole roof so that it looks like a new house. Yeah. So that's effectively what, what we're doing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so every now and then we come across something like this where we put a new roof on because the owner wants a new roof yeah. instead of replacing a roof. So we do all sorts of re-roofs and this is just one of the ones that we do. Uh, and because it's a, it's a brand new re-roof and it's um, got a lot of architectural detailing in there, um, we've had to take a lot of care with the detailing because um, it's going to show up in the long run and uh, what we feel is that we should give the client something that they can be proud of. Yeah, so a, kind of a difference when I'm doing this type of work and the price reflects it a little bit is that when we when we do our our flashing work, we tend to lay the roof and then we go and measure every flashing set exactly, um, which obviously takes a bit more time and there's a lot more detail involved. Yeah. So normally we'd have uh, standard flashings yeah. and we'll just flash everything with a standard yeah. flashing. Uh, in this case, the reason we've got uh, the temporary waterproofing on the gables, uh, on so on the dormers, on the walls of dormers, is that. Um, we had to lay the roof yep. uh, with uh, our big crew and now we got to come back and we actually had to order all the flashings uh, because they're all tapered to yep. uh, suit the different uh, so it's situation. A waterproof in between while, yep. while we're waiting for those uh, materials to Yeah, arrive. okay. So that's what we're doing now. And um, we've got the, you and Mason doing the, uh, the detailing work at the moment. Yeah, and the cladding. Yeah, um, and I think it, this is more for, um, for us, it's a showpiece where we're going to train our guys um, as to how we want the flashings put in. Uh, because yes. the alternative is to get the guys to come and do it. Uh, but then we'll have them and you just looking on rather you doing the work. Yeah. So I think the intent is for you guys to do the work, uh, we'll record it and be part of our training series for the guys. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, just to end, tell them what, what, what we want in order to detail. This is the end result of where we like our roof is detailing to be at, that yeah. we're capable of doing this type yeah. of job. Because it yeah. does take, it's not a standard uh, roof flat, it takes a lot of thinking and um, measuring and to get things just right. And yeah. There is just one right with these type of roofs. Yes, and, and classically in roofing, this type of detail, the um, dormer roof, yes. is the, it's, it sorts the men from the boys, this one. Yes, the, where the valley comes down and it meets the, uh, the apron, yeah, that detail is, yeah. is always tricky. Very tricky. And then you've got left, uh, left side, right side, and they're treated differently because yep. uh, of how the roof laps. Yep. So you'll notice that if you look at the details that will show you that the other valley is detailed a little bit different to this valley because of how the sheets uh, no, no, are set it, out. It'll, it looks, it'll all pan out exactly the same. Yes. So this is going to be, this cut height here is exactly yep. the same. As that is that cut height, height there? there? Yep, okay, one. yep. So the tricky thing is though is like you want to have your, your valley's going to come from under to over yes and when you're doing a really detailed so there's an easier mm. way to do this where you kind of have a lay on top and then sheets kind of underneath yes but you can't have a 
uh, perfectly symmetrical roof that way mm. because the sheets will be off. Yes. So to get a perfectly symmetrical lay, you have to do a, a different type of cut there where you kind of cut a groove in and then slide it in. All right, okay. So this is a, one of the other sides, but this is for like perfectly symmetrical. Yeah, so to get this symmetrical look, you, we've got to do it this way yeah. rather than do it the tr traditional way yeah. where you've got uh, one long sheet underneath and yeah. then a short sheet on the top just yeah. covering that. Yeah. Um, because that's a lot easier to yeah. lay that sort of roof and this is a lot trickier. Yes, this so is the high end of that's right. um, uh, dormer detailing, roof. Yeah, detailing, dormer roof yep. detailing, because that's always the hardest detail on a dormer roof. <laughs>